acting. At one stage, train conductor Paul Murfin from Knaresborough found himself in A&E with chest pains. But after a severe bout of anxiety, he's now a popular artist with an exhibition in London under his belt. Phil Chapman went to meet him. Paul's found himself on a different journey since he worked on the railways full time until recently. He's become a much sought after artist in just a couple of years after a life changing period led him to painting. Just before COVID, uh, I lost my mum uh, to cancer and, um, uh, and then COVID came down and uh, I, I really started to struggle with anxiety and well, I got diagnosed with anxiety. And um, so I had a bit of time off for the railway because uh, I worked on the railway and uh, the art has definitely uh, saved me in, in many ways. You know, I get to be on my own, which I really love and just take my time and uh, create something. And it's, um, I th I'd, I'd recommend it to anybody to just have a go. Paul's already had his work displayed at the OXO Gallery in London and back in Yorkshire he's even had commissions for the railways. I, I do eight, eight shifts a month now on the railway, uh, which is fantastic. And, uh, and then I uh, rest at time and painting. And it's been fantastic, they've been so supportive, the railway. And uh, they've commissioned me themselves. I've done a, a painting for a, a big depot called Neville Hill in Leeds and Huddersfield uh, mess room. Phil Chapman, BBC Look North, Nesborough. Marvellous stuff, isn't it? I, uh, I regret I have not an artistic bone in my body, otherwise that sounds like a great way to spend your days. No, nor I. Uh, my mum did some of my GCSE uh, coursework. No. Don't tell anybody. Have you just confessed? Uh, right, <laughs> the uh, weather for this afternoon.